What's up sports fans? This is the Lucas Ross Sports Channel and it's time for another game preview slash game prediction for the 2023 college football season. And our next game preview slash game prediction will be week five's matchup between the Utah Utes and the Oregon State Beavers. A um, Pac-12 conference game coming up here this weekend of week number five of the college football season. Got another great weekend of college football coming up this weekend. We got a lot of top 25 matchups. And I think this week I'm going to do one game preview slash game prediction each and every single day from Sunday through Friday. I think I'll do that for now on for, you know, the rest of the upcoming weeks and everything. If I have time to do that. So we got Utah versus Oregon State here. A Pac-12 conference matchup. Not an undefeated versus undefeated matchup here, but should be a really good one between these two teams. A uh, big time game coming up here this weekend. We're going to give you a game preview slash game prediction on this game. We're going to go through the game, you know, we're going to go through the stat comparisons between these two teams of what they've done so far in the season. Then we're going to give you the game summary of what time the game will be and, of course, who the favorite going into this game is. And then we'll give you a um, keys to the game here for both of these teams. And then we'll give you a game prediction at the end of this video. And, make, and see how the game will go down uh, this weekend here. Uh, again, this is Utah versus Oregon State. Big time Pac-12 matchup coming up here uh, this weekend of week number five. So let's get right into it here. We'll start with the stat comparisons between these two teams. And we'll start with Utah. They're coming into this game with a record of 4-0. Uh, they're averaging about 22.3 points per game. So they're not the most explosive offense like they were from last year. It seems like this offense is really struggling. Maybe it's because Cam Rising is out at quarterback. They just don't have that quarterback right now. You look at the total yards per game. Again, this is not a very explosive offense this year compared to last year. They're only averaging about 322.5 yards per passing, or actually total yards per game. Per passing, they're only averaging about 157 yards. Uh, they've gone with like two different quarterbacks this year. Uh, none, of the, none of the guys that haven't really put up big numbers yet for Utah. Rushing yards, they're not really good at running the football either. Only 165.5 yards per game on the ground this year. And again, you could just see how struggling this offense has been uh, for Utah. They're only averaging, or actually, they're only 113th in the country on offense. So yeah, this offense, again, has really struggled. I don't think they're the worst offense in the Pac-12. Maybe not, but I don't really don't know, to be honest. But again, that offensive ranking is not really good for this Utah team. But again, their defense has been the more talented side of the football this year their defense is so talented and um, you know they're ninth in the defensive rankings so I mean this defense looks really good uh, you can see why the numbers you know tell the story in their last four games of the season you only only gave up 11 points against Florida 13 against Baylor seven in the last two games uh, to their non-conference opponent then UCLA uh, the last game from you know last night and everything so again Utah enters this game at four and0 but the, the wins just have not been there for them, and the offense has just not been there for them either. Looking at Oregon State, their stats, they're coming in with a record of 3-1. and one. Uh, They lost to Washington State yesterday. Uh, really a big-time loss there, but they nearly came back in that game. Uh, they have wins over San Diego State and then, of course, San Jose State. So, um, yeah, the first three games were really good for Oregon State. And, you know, their worst game, I believe, was like against San Diego State. This team is averaging 39.5 points per game. So this offense is really good for them. You look at the total yards of offense, 459.5 yards of total yards this year. Passing yards, DJ Ogilvy looks better at quarterback compared to Clemson when he was there, um, averaging about 234.8 yards per passing. And this is an Oregon State team that can run the football. Uh, D. Martinez looks like one of the top running backs in the Pac-12. Maybe not. He's one of the top running backs in the Pac-12. But, I mean, they're averaging about 224.8 yards per rushing. So that's the best thing about this Oregon State team. They can run the football. Offensively in the rankings, 26 on offense and then defensively 44. They may not have the most talented defense, but... Again, this offense is pretty explosive for Oregon State. So those are the stat comparisons between these two teams. Overall, you know, Utah has the defensive advantage, and you know the offensive advantage does definitely go to Oregon State on, on the offensive side of the football. So these are the stat comparisons between these two teams in the 2023 college football season. Moving on to the game summary, this game will be at 9 o'clock Eastern time on Fox Sports 1. 
Oregon State favored by one and a half, and the over and under is at 47. It just came out a few minutes ago, so they're kind of predicting a low-scoring type game. And this game is going to be on a Friday night. It's not on a Saturday. This game is going to be on a weeknight. It's going to be on Friday. Utah coming into this game as the number 10th ranked team in the country. Oregon State, I meant to change their ranking at number 19. Uh, these rankings came out, you know, a little bit earlier today, and Oregon State's number 19, so I meant to change that. But again, Oregon State, you know, they're favored in this game, even though they're not the highest-ranked team, and even though they're coming off a loss to Washington State. I think they kind of like how they performed in this game against Washington State, you know, last night, so I think that's the reason why they're favored in this game. Uh, the FBI, they like Oregon State in this game. They have, they're giving them about a 58.1% chance to win. Utah, they're giving about a 41.9% chance. So I think based off of what the FBI has seen so far from Utah, they're just not really giving them a chance in this game uh, because, you know, the offense has not looked really good. But I think, you know, the defense is getting a little credit. I mean, obviously the defense has been really good for Utah. So Oregon State and Utah, again, this game's at 9 o'clock Eastern time this Friday on Fox Sports 1. And the game is in Oregon State. Very tough place to play for Utah. And again, Oregon State favored by one and a half, and the over and under is at 47. So they're kind of predicting a low-scoring type game, which I can really see it playing out that way. So that is the game summary. Let's now go to the keys to the game here for both of these teams. And we'll start with Utah. The defense has to be a factor like always. Um, We've seen what the defense has done this year. The defense has not given up a whole lot of points this year. But the offense has to score points. The offense has not scored a ton of points this year. You look at their offense in the last four games, you know, they only scored 24, 20 on Baylor. Uh, they scored 31. That's been their highest scoring game so far against their non-conference team in the third game of the season. And then UCLA, they only had 14 last week. So they have to score points in this game. And then pressure on defense. The pressure they have to put on on this Oregon State offense is going to be key for them. Uh, they have to pressure the run game. They also have to um, you know, pressure the passing game of Oregon State. Uh, for Oregon State, DJ Ogale has to be consistent. I mean, he's got to be that quarterback that, you know, not what he used to be at Clemson, but just be that quarterback that he's, you know, have an up-and-down career. But he's going to have to be that quarterback that he's been like this year. And then you look at, I mean, you look at DJ Ogale's numbers. He looks so much better to compare to Clemson, even though he's only thrown, uh, you know, seven touchdowns, but three interceptions. That may not be seeming like seem good, but... I think D.J. Ogilvy just has to be consistent. And then the number two key is to run the football. Uh, this team can run the football. You know, like I said, Martinez, one of their top running backs at 432 yards. And he's only got one touchdown on the year, but he's going to have to have a big game in this one. And then they have to be aggressive on offense. So, yeah, the offense just has to be really aggressive. I'm not concerned about their defense, but... If Utah can score points on this defense of Oregon State, it could potentially be a shootout in this game. But I think Utah has a great defense to stop this Oregon State offense. But these are the keys to the game for Utah. Defense has to be a factor. Offense has to score points. Again, that offense has not been really good for Utah this year. Then pressure on defense. And then for Oregon State, DJ Ogilvy has to be consistent, run the football, be aggressive on offense. So those are the keys to the game here for both of these teams. All right, let's now get to the prediction here between Utah and Oregon State. Again, a Pac-12 game here, both of these teams. Not very similar and record-wise, but I feel like both sides of the football, they're both different. Utah is good on defense. Oregon State's good on offense. But I tell you what, it's going to be a low-scoring type game. I'm kind of predicting that, that it's going to be a low-scoring game. I think I predicted uh, Oregon State to win this game in the preseason. I'm not sure I'm going to have to go back and, you know, um, see who I predicted to win this game in the preseason. But, you know, when I look at Utah in the first four games, they have just not been really that good on offense. And, you know, there's no telling if Cam Rising is going to play in this game. If he does play, I think Utah wins. But if he doesn't play... I think Oregon State wins in a low-scoring type game. So with that being said, I'm going to go with Oregon State here to knock off Utah and give them their first loss of the season. I think this would be a huge redemption win for Oregon State, especially losing a close game to Washington State. They're back at home in this one, and I think they get that motivation well enough to knock off Utah in this game. And I think they win at 20-14. to And like I said, Utah's defense is good enough to hold Utah or Oregon State uh, to low-scoring points in this one. 
I think Oregon State's defense is going to be good enough to you know stop this offense for Utah because they haven't been really good. But if Cam Rising plays, Utah will score a lot of points. But if he doesn't play, uh, they won't win this game. So this is my official prediction for this matchup in the Pac-12, Oregon State versus Utah. Um, I'm kind of expecting a low-scoring type game here. So uh, give me your thoughts on the comments below. What do you think about this prediction? And also give me your prediction down in the comments below. Do you think Oregon State wins? Or do you think Utah wins? Let me know down in the comments below. And also give me your final score prediction down in the comments below as well. And again, we'll probably do a lot of game preview slash game predictions uh, coming up this week. I'll probably post one earlier on the channel. And then we'll probably do one in the, you know, we'll probably like just do one each and every single day um, from Sunday through Friday. And then, of course, um, we'll do my regular videos um, on those days as well. But give me your thoughts down in the comments below about this game. And thank you for watching this video. And stay tuned here for more sports content videos on my Lucas Ross, Sports Channel.